I got a show tonight. I got a show tonight. Saturday night. Booyah. We got voted back last week, so I'm playing the woman again. I'm playing Vera in tonight's episode again. Um, but I did want to talk about a couple of things that have been kind of nagging on my mind all day today, they were. And they are what I think is or are the two biggest banes of our existence. I think these are the two things that together have completely paralyzed us emotionally as a human race. And I think the two things are alcohol and entertainment. And we, I guess I'll start with entertainment because I want it to go into entertainment. The reason, entertainment in and of itself is not bad, neither is alcohol. But what we have let entertainment come to in this society, the fact that every single human has, not every single human of course, but most people have a television set in their house. I'll be right back, I'm gonna close that door. Dude, people are just screaming and hammering into things out there. It's so obnoxious, it's like, wow, it's 6.30 and it's already dark. It's not summertime anymore, I forget that when I'm in LA, I forget that the seasons are like actually fall right now. Because it was like 80 degrees today. Um, <coughs> we've made entertainment so accessible that we've, we, we just bury ourselves in it. And we don't think twice about it. I mean, you hear people say, make your kids play outside, don't keep them inside. But no one takes it seriously. And everybody thinks, yeah, a couple hours of television a day, that's fine. I don't think so. I think that it's about balance. And two hours a day of entertainment is not balance. That's too much entertainment. Balance is like how many days a week do you watch TV? Or how many days a month do you drink? Not not how many days a week, not how you know, not how drunk, not how many days a week. That's not balance. Don't think like that. Think think on a monthly alcohol is maybe the worst poison in existence because it's legal. It's just poison. It's not a drug. It's it's a poison and it's legal. We're fucking encouraged to drink it by the ads that we see, by the funny Budweiser commercials. And all it does is depresses our body. Everything about it. It just slows us down. It makes us more like animals, I guess. It just it, it, it dulls our our brain. It makes everything work slower. Our more our motor skills, our our more or more our speaking skills, <laughs> our emotional recall. We don't have it. We don't experience emotion when we're drunk. I don't think. I think it fades away as we get drunker and drunker and drunker. And that's why we can say I love you and we don't actually feel it. And that's the thing, man. You get drunk and then you go and you say stuff and do stuff that's hard to do sober because it's hard like to bring yourself to say things. And you don't feel it. You don't feel that like, oh God, that fear. You don't feel it and you don't overcome it. So the next time that situation comes around and you're in that same situation without any alcohol, it's as if you've never experienced the situation. It's as if you've never had a conversation or whatever it was you did, drunk. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. It may, uh, I, I kind of didn't understand what I was talking about by the end of it. But it's, uh, it, it destroys emotional growth. It stunts it. It stunts it. It doesn't destroy it. It stunts it. it. It's a pause from life. It's a pause from experiencing life emotionally. And it's so unhealthy. And people fucking die from it. And it's still legal. 
I think that I, I've kind of stopped drinking. I, I have. I'll, I'll drink like once in a while. I got wasted like a month ago or three weeks ago, and I was like real. And that's when I got this cold the day after. It's so bad for you. And then I had a glass of wine about a week ago or six days ago. But man, I just feel so much better when I'm not drinking. So much this this clarity that I, maybe you can't even. I maybe I can't even experience it this this clarity when I am drinking. I feel it taken away from me. I feel slower. Everything's a little more difficult, and I just feel a little more upset. It's like that's the first thing you can do if you want to feel better about yourself. The first thing you can do is stop drinking the alcohol because every time you put alcohol in your body, it just makes you feel worse. It makes you feel good, and then makes you feel worse. <coughs> entertainment I mean god this video itself is entertainment in a way you know it's not healthy to sit on YouTube Hel I don't know healthy but it's not to sit on YouTube all, all day and just watch video 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 even if it's people opening up it defeats the purpose because it's just burying yourself in other people burying yourself in entertainment the key is to, to watch videos and let it inspire you to speak and to react so I think a lot of people just watch videos all the time, and I've been so I've been trying to, you know, watch a, a video here, a video there, uh, like a different person's video, or like three people's videos, and then the next day I'll watch three different people's videos. It's pretty cool because you get like a taste of everybody, but then you don't get like absorbed in any one person. You can't. You can't let that happen. It has to always be about us. And I'm completely content with that. If people watch this and they take from that that they shouldn't be watching my videos all the time, that's fine. Make your own. It's more important. I'm doing this for me. It doesn't matter in the long run, you know. It's not about subscribers or viewers or numbers or any of that. It's that what you're doing is is, is for you. It's that what I'm doing is for me. If, if I lose track of that, if I start to do stuff for something else, for another reason, to be popular, for money, I'm not doing the right thing. There's no right thing, but I'm not doing myself a service emotionally. I'm just passing time emotionally this is probably gonna, I just realized this, this is probably kind of quiet because my voice has been kind of lower these days since I've had my uh, this cold <coughs> this is a long video but I'm fine with that I'm just going to put up one I, I just I really 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 want to talk about how dangerous I think entertainment and alcohol are entertainment these days because only because of the accessibility of it and in many ways alcohol because of the accessibility of it I mean God you go to the store and get a bunch of it it's just it, they're very very dangerous things because they are time wasters they you do that and it is a fun experience and then as soon as the experience is over you're back to where you were and it's as if that it's as if it never happened. I mean, you remember it kind of, but you don't remember it. Since I've been talking about my emotions and making these videos, time has been passing so slowly. The days have been, the moments have been going fast, but the days have just gone so so slowly. It's amazing. Like time passes for me when I play a lot of video games. It just speeds by. When I drink a lot, I'll lose weeks and months. But when I'm communicating. I don't forget the moments. I'm like, I, I feel like in two weeks I've experienced as much personal growth as I had, I had experienced in like a year of my life before this. Okay, that's, that's the end of that. I would love to hear your thoughts about alcohol and about entertainment and if you think they're as, uh, as dangerous as I do. Something, something needs to be said about it. I mean, that's the beginning of action being taken. So I'm saying something about it now. And
and maybe we can all start talking about it. Man, people like TV and people like to drink and people do not want to give that up. But listen, you may not want to give it up, but just ad at least admit to yourself that it is, you know, diversion. See you later.